The video you are about to see is extracted directly from BIM After Dark Volume 3. Head on over to BIMAfterDark.com and select Volume 3 to find out more. Creating a type catalog for your families in Revit may seem like a foreign concept, but it is actually very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the bookcase uh, family. So I'm going to start with the 04 bookcase final. And I'm going to save this as a new name just for the sake of what I'm doing. I'm going to call it 09 bookcase types. Make sure it's only one. Okay. So the one thing you need to know before creating a type catalog is you have to have your types set up. So if I was to hit my family types in the family editor, you'll notice we never set up any types here. That's actually a no-no. One of the things you want to do is you want to create your types uh, almost right away. Obviously, you can add more later, etc. But you want to create those as soon as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple types here. I'm going to call this one 36-inch high uh, one shelf. Or better yet, let's do 36-inch H by 48 inch L one shelf. You can name it whatever you want, but you get the idea. I'm actually going to copy this one. I have to type it again. So we just made this. I want to make sure that the height is going to be three feet. The width is actually going to be four feet and the number of shelves is going to be one. Now all this stuff updated because we already set it up before. So now we're going to make another type. So it's yelling at me for the number one here. If you remember from the tutorial, we got to use a number two here, which is fine. And now I'm going to make another type. I'm going to call this one. Let me just paste. This one's going to be 72 inches high by 72 inches long. And this we're going to do six shelves. Click OK. Let's go up to six here. Let's go to 72 inches here. 72 inches here, apply. There we go. So now we have these two types. Let's make one more for good measure. I'm going to take this one and copy it. And we're going to call this one four shelves. Just so we have a couple here. Change that number, click apply. So now, typically you would load this into your project and you'd be able to select these these three or four types, right? With the type catalog, you may have seen families where when you load them in, there's a selection and you could actually only load in the types that you want. You may want this depending on the family type. You may not want this, but I want to show you how to create it. So we set up we set up our types. The first thing you got to do is set up your types. Now, Revit has this wonderful function called family types under the export. So what I did is I went to the Revit button, export family types. Now you want to make sure you save it in the same file or the same location as your family and leave it the name as is. I wouldn't touch the name and click save. So what that did is it created a document that's really a, uh, a notepad file with all this junk in it. And so what that does is when you load the family, it'll give you options. So let's see what it does. So let me close that. I'm going to go into a new project. I'm going to go to my floor plan. I'm going to go to insert, load family. And now I just want to get to the location of the family. So now if I select the family we just created and click open, and that's how easy it is. Now we have these types. So now we can select one or more to bring in. So if I just want to bring in the, these two, I click OK. And now it brought in those two. I go to component, and you can see we've got the two types that we brought in. This can be really powerful for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing families, but as you can see, even on the bookcase, it can be powerful. Then you don't have your family or your project loaded with all these different types that, let's say, you're not going to use. There's our two shelfer, and there we go. So that's how easy it is to create a type catalog. So now if you want to modify this type catalog, it's as simple as going back into your family, what I've done is I've created a fourth a fourth type here, which is called um, 72 by 50 inch six shelves. I've created that type. I can go into my file, export, family types, overwrite it. So overwrite the exact same type file. Now if I go back into my project, insert, load family, 
go to this location, find my family. And now you see we've got all four types. So you can easily modify. You don't have to go into Notepad anymore, which is fantastic. So that's how you create a type catalog. Again, any parameter that you change can be in here. Um, so with with lights and all the other stuff, it's nice because you don't want it, you don't have to manually type in all the different parameter names. And that's a type catalog.